The Cottonwood Arts Festival starts bright and early Saturday morning and is host to an array of artists who work with all types of media. Here with examples of the beautiful things you can find is Carl Zachman, one of the featured artists at this year's Cottonwood Arts Festival. Thanks so much for being here, Carl. Well, I got to tell you, everyone who's walked by these has said, oh my gosh, these are so cool. Tell me about these pieces. Well, I'm a kinetic artist. I am out of uh, Fergus Falls, Minnesota. And I am inspired by the uh, Industrial Revolution and all the different workings and the mechanical movements and the patterns and the designs that you see. And that's what I really use to influence and inspire my artwork. So this here is a wind piece that is uh, for the garden that is... Oh, um, so cool. And are these yep. all reclaimed pieces in here? They are not. I actually make all of the gears that you see mm -hmm. here based off of designs on originals. So like this pattern here with all these circles and this one, that's actually the pattern off of an old coffee grinder from a general store where the patterns had to be a little more decorative. Some of the ones with the straight spokes and things like that come from farm machinery and factories. So all kinds cool. of places. So I worked very hard to give them that distressed look. And then we've all looked at this one over mm -hmm. here as well. And again, you've made all these wheels and yep. these grinds and... I guess they're called grinds, right? Yeah. Hey, yeah, we'll go with that. No, I'm just kidding. What does it mean to be a featured artist at the Cottonwood Arts Festival? It means a lot. I mean, um, this is the first time I've ever been a featured artist. It's really great. I've only been doing this for about three years. Um, and Cottonwood is a great festival. Um, I know that they have many, many applicants, and uh, only the selected few, about 250, get uh, p chosen to come to the show at all. So to be a featured artist means that much more. And how long does it take you to make a piece like this? When they come to you and say, okay, we are going to make you a featured artist, do you have to make pieces specifically for the arts festival? Um, I have my general inventory. Every piece that you see is um, handmade, um, one of a kind, limited edition, small runs. And so I do have my inventory that I do, but when I come to a show, you know, I'm always, ma always replenishing from the previous show. So, you know, it's always new stuff that you see. What I have one year will not be what I have the previous year. So everybody wants to know price. Give me a price range for, for what something like this would be. A piece like this is just over about $6,000. It is, you know, handmade and it comes with everything you need except the cement. So <laughs> you can put it in your yard. Um, and a piece like this generally is about, um, I'd say about uh, $2,200. So again, you know, it's, it's, just fun. It is, and that's the cool thing about Cottonwood. I've been there for years, and you can find pieces that range from literally ten dollars mm -hmm. all the way up to six thousand yep. dollars and more. So you do the art festival circuit. <laughs> yes, I do. So if someone's coming to something like Cottonwood for the very first time, what are they? What should they expect to see? Um, you know. You can find everything. You can find anything from, you know, dishes to paintings to bronze sculpture. You know, whatever you're looking for, you'll find something that you'll fall in love with. For your home, for your office, it is just a great place. And what a better place than the park. It's a lot of fun and it's a gorgeous day. Now you got the good weather mm -hmm. going for you as well. As you, you as an artist, do you go there and do you scope out the competition and think, okay, maybe this is something that I can take and use for a future piece? Um, not so much. Um, I usually, the, the artists that are around you, they're friends. And that's what I, I more walk around and I find pieces that I love that I want to add to my own personal collection. As an artist, when I meet another artist and they become a good friend, you know, buying the art, you're buying a piece of the artist. And every time I see that piece at my house, it makes me think of them and fond memories. So it really is about buying a piece of the artist. I mean, you go to a museum and everything is static and you can't touch. But when you go out to a festival like Cottonwood, you can hold the piece, you can talk to the artist, you can find out what they were thinking when they made this, and you can you really do just fall in love. All right, thank you so much, Carl, oh, for being you. here. It's a great week. Be there and come hungry and ready to shop because the Cottonwood Arts Festival will have plenty of food, art and entertainment for everyone. For more details, visit us online at thebroadcasttv.com and we'll connect you free admission, free parking, double bonus there. Stick around. We'll be right back on the broadcast after this.